time for the segment where we take a look at the history of iconic K-pop singers. So let's open up the music treasure box to find out about their hit songs. Get ready to travel back in time with me, Peniel. And me, Hayana, on... Born to Rock the Mic. Hi, Hayana. Hi, Peniel. So, I have a question for you. Sure. There's something that gets better over time, with aging. Yes. Do you know what it is? Hmm, wine. Like, aged wine is higher in value, isn't it? That's true, but mm. the same goes for Korean sauces. For example, uh, the red pepper sauce, soybean paste, and soy sauce. Uh, the more they're aged, the more ripe they are. Oh, and I just um, thought something else. Uh, what would that be? Like, old friends. Like, the longer you have friends with someone, the better friends you become. That's very true. Also, there are many old singers and groups that are still in the K-pop scene and serving as great role models to their juniors. Yes. Um, just like the group that we'll focus on today is Born to Rock the Mic. Right. And who's that group? Well, let's take a look right now. Today, we'll focus on the legendary group, Shina, that's been in the industry for 15 years. Wow, 15 years. Well, there are many musicians who have been in the K-pop industry for a long time, but it's very unusual for an idol group to remain so popular for more than a decade. That's right. It's very unprecedented, but they also showed off their unwavering power and popularity when their tickets to their Seoul concert became sold out immediately. Right. The Seoul concert is scheduled for this coming August as part of their Asia tour. And the 27,000 tickets were sold out in just five minutes. Wow. Well, now let's first take a look at Shina's debut album, shall we? Okay. All right. Shina was a group formed by SM Entertainment, uh, the agency currently managing TVXQ and Super Junior. And they released their debut album, Resolver, in 1998, and they instantly drew a lot of attention. Well, um, Shima's debut song, Resolver, and the perfect sum summer song, Usha Usha, became huge hits. That's right, and they were honored with the Best Male new uh, Newcomer Award at the end of the year ceremony, and they gained even more popularity with their second album. Wow. Well, the hit title track of their second album, T.O.P., had a refined sound with a sampling of the famous song from Swan Lake. Well, uh, Shina ranked number one for the first time with this song, right? Right. Well, they topped all the music charts with T.O.P. and the following song, Yo, also ranked number one. Wow. Shina quickly became the top boy band on the K-pop scene and they released their fourth album, Hey, come on, in 2001. And it successfully drew everyone's attention with their unique performance routine for the follow-up song, Wild Eyes. Ooh, like you mean the um, tour performances, right? Of course. Yes, well, Shina was regarded as a top dance group and all the choreographies caused a sensation. And remember, Infinite and BAP gave their rendition of Wild Eyes on stage recently. Well, I hope B2B and Evil leave a strong impression on the audience with our performances too. <laughs> and anyways, let's talk about Shina's fifth album now. Okay. Well, Shina returned with the fifth album in 2002. And the title track called Perfect Man revealed their masculine appeal. And they captivated everyone with their powerful performances on stage. That's right. They actually wowed everyone with the performance routine that uh, involved the mic stand. Mm. And I guess you could say that they're the ones who popularized the mic stand performances these days, right? right. Uh, so do you remember any kind of these performances? Well, actually, Shiny did the mic, mic stand performance for, this song, for their song, Dream Girl, oh, right? right? Well, and I actually thought it was very, very unique and it looked fantastic. Well, then what about you? Is there a kind of mic stand performance that left you a strong impression? Well, like you said, Chinese Dream Girl left a strong impression on me, but um, I would have to say Wonder Girl's Nobody. And Kaya's Step, of course. Mm -hmm. They both left strong impression on me. Right, well, Shino received a lot of love with the song Perfect Man that had a great choreography and the song itself was just perfect. And you're going to sing a perfect song for us right now, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Shinra showed off their masculine appeal in the song Perfect Man, and I'll try to demonstrate my feminine appeal like a perfect woman. All right, well, let the pop viewers and me hear your perfect song. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, what can I say? That was um, perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. And uh, after receiving a lot of love for their song Perfect Man, Sheena's contract with their agency FM Entertainment ended in May of 2003. Now, groups usually disband uh, as soon as their contract with their agency ends, but that wasn't the case for Sheena. The six members stayed together and signed with a different agency, and they released their seventh album. Yes, and the album was titled Brand New, Brand new. and it showed a more major side of Sheena. And Sheena produced the entire album, and Eric, Minu, and Dongwan wrote the lyrics, composed the music, and arranged the song. That's right. And Choreography for Brand New, which involved uh, dancing with the female partner, also became a hot issue. And uh, even when you look at it after all these years, she still looks extremely sophisticated. That's right. Like, it was quite a refreshing shock for the audience to see the powerful and sexy dance routine. That's right. Well, she not sure did captivate the people with the dance, for, dance routine for Brand New. And why don't you captivate our viewers one more time by singing a song for us? All right, then I'll try to win them over with Shinla's brand new. All right, Shinla's brand new. Let's hear it. <laughs> Wow. If I didn't know that was Shino's song, I thought I would have thought it was a brand new song that you made. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you. I hope our viewers feel the same. I'm sure they do. You guys do, right? <laughs> yeah, they do. Anyways, um, after gaining much popularity throughout the years, the members of Shina enlisted in the army uh, one by one. And the members who either completed the military duty or remained behind engaged in solo -like. Right, then in 2012, with mm -hmm. Iminu's discharge, all the members had fulfilled their mandatory military duty. And they returned as a complete group with their 10th album. Wow. And they even held a concert in celebration and 24,000 people came to it. Wow. Well, the members of Shino fulfilled their promise to return as a complete group by releasing their 10th album. Yes. And they showed off their unwavering popularity through the title track Venus, which became a huge hit. Huge hit. Well, and they recently returned with their 11th album and the electronic, electronic dance song, This Love, ranked number one on various music charts. That's right. The song topped numerous single digital charts, and it also became first place on various music programs. And um, I think it was just a week after their comeback. So uh, you could say that Shina reached the second peak of their career. Yes. Well, an idol group with the original members staying together for 15 years, that's been mm. unprecedented here in Korea. Well, as a veteran group, Shina's name will remain in the history of K-pop for many, many years. Yes, I think it will too. And I hope Shina continues to set a great example for many junior idol groups, and I wish them the best of luck in their Asia concert tour. Now, uh, why don't we play one of their music videos as a way to show them support? Sure, then let's check out the music video for This Love. Music video, start! start. Oh yeah. 